future plans look bright for an area park district that continues to focus on health and wellness of its neighbors. Happening in your community, the Urbana Parks Foundation. And Fred Del Coleman is here now to talk about a new facility and a fundraising effort for said facility that's coming to Urbana. Hi, Fred. How are you? Hi. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Well, welcome. We're glad you're here. So uh, there's a new facility in the works with the Urbana Park District and the, um, the foundation. So w what made you all decide, hey, we need this kind of facility here for our residents? The Park District has been surveying its users uh, for many years. And one of the features that's come up frequently is we need some place to exercise. Brookins Gym is what's used now, but Brookins Gym is in serious need of renovations, millions mm. of dollars worth of renovations, besides which the Park District doesn't own the facility at all. Uh, so there's some thought that the Brookins Center is going to be not available anymore. So that kind of put, lit the fire under the Park District, and they thought uh, we really need to get something going. Uh, then at the same time, just fortuitously, uh, last year, the, uh, uh, the state of Illinois announced the availability of what they call a park grant uh, for two and a half million dollars, which was specifically for facilities of this type. Plus, the park district was able, because of the, econo uh, of, uh, the economy, was able to refinance some bonds. So it didn't cost the taxpayers any more, but they freed up $3 million. Oh, wow. Uh, $3 million is helpful. Yeah, it $3 is. Million <laughs> is very helpful. So they applied for the park grant, and um, it was just announced a few months ago that they were successful in getting that. So $3 million, $2.5 million, that's $5.5 million out of an eight point. Uh, $3 million facility. Okay. Let's talk about what you're getting for that $8 million facility. We're seeing some sort of overhead shots here of, of where that's going to be. Uh, you mentioned fitness, but this building is more than just that. Talk about what's going into this and what you have planned. Uh, it's about 44,000 square feet is, is the full facility, the plan for the full facility. Uh, and in that 44,000 will be two full basketball courts. Uh, walking, running track, jogging track uh, around the outside, and several fitness rooms, play rooms for children, uh, and uh, of course, meeting rooms and, and that sort of thing. So the fitness rooms will be fully equipped with, with uh, fitness equipment so that people can uh, do stationary bicycles, exercise, uh, and that kind of thing. Well, it looks very, very fancy and very cool here looking at these renderings you've got. So how can the community get involved and make this a reality and come to life? We had a goal of uh, $2.8 million in public fundraising. That was the gap between the park grant plus the bond refinancing that we needed to get to. Um, we just started last fall. We have already raised $1.5 million. Wow. In, pub, in uh, actual contributions and pledges. So doing some quick math in my head, that appears to leave 1.3 million left. That's right. <laughs> 1.3 million left, and we're hoping to get that within the next six months. And how does that happen? Is that just uh, individual donations? Is there a website? Are there fundraisers? What's the plan? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, we have donations from 55 individuals and two businesses. Uh, in the quiet phase of the campaign when we just approached individuals who we thought would really like to be able to help us out and had some ability to do that, uh, we didn't really hit the business community or ask the business community to do much uh, because it was mostly individual effort. But now uh, businesses uh, have an opportunity to contribute to the welfare of the community. This is an Urbana facility, but the point is, of course, that we live in... Urbana-Champaign, yes. Savoy, St. Joseph. This is, this is going to be a, a, a uh, fee-for-use facility, partly. But there will be parts of it that will be open to the public when the building is open with no fee. Nice. So we really will, will uh, attempt to service or serve everybody in this building. Well, best of luck, and we look forward to having you on when uh, things are fully funded and you guys have broken ground. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Tim and I will bust in the splash pad I saw. <laughs> Ready? Sure, that. I'll do that. Picture. Why not? If you want more <laughs> details on how you can help, you can go to our website. We'll connect you with uh, everything going on there in Urbana at CILiving.tv.
Coming up later, film critics Chuck Kaplinsky and Pam Powell give us the scoop on the sequel of A Quiet Place Part 2. It's probably a sequel of The Quiet Place. Probably, yeah. yeah. And uh, understanding how our genes can help us determine our medical history and treating any illness. Those details coming up.